Shalom, 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 assalamu alaikum to the family. This is the elder out of New Orleans coming to you with another powerful and very, very informative video. Peace, blessings, and love to all the melanated family and mankind. <clears throat> well, family, this is a highly, highly requested video. A lot, a lot of people have been asking me to do this video on the brother from Mali, West Africa, called Musa, Musa, the richest man that ever lived. The richest man that ever lived. That's right, family. I'm going to play a little clip, bring some powerful information, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. person ever was a black man. Hmm. His name was Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa. He was actually a king of Mali. And his wealth was so immense that it was hard to really determine how wealthy was he. Today, we're going to answer that question. Mansa means emperor. So Mansa Musa means Emperor Musa. Mansa Musa was born in 1280 into a family of rulers. His brother, Mansa Abu Bakar, ruled the empire until 1312, when he surrendered his throne to go on an expedition. According to 14th century Syrian historian Shabib al-Umari, Abu Bakar was obsessed with the Atlantic Ocean and what lay beyond it. He reportedly embarked on an expedition with a fleet of 2,000 ships. The ships included men, women, and slaves. They sailed off never to return. Many believe they reached South America. In any case, Mansa Musa inherited the kingdom his brother left behind. And under the rule of Mansa Musa, the prosperous empire grew to span a sizable portion of West Africa from the Atlantic coast to the inland trading hub of Timbuktu and parts of the Sahara Desert. Mm. As the territory grew while Musa was on the throne, so did the economic standing of its citizens. The kingdom stretched for about 2,000 miles from the Atlantic Ocean all the way to modern day Niger, taking in parts of what is now Senegal, Mauritania, Mali, Burka Fasa, Niger, the Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea, and the Ivory Coast. With such a large landmass came great resources, such as gold and salt. During the reign of Mansa Musa, the empire of Mali accounted for almost half of the old world's gold, hmm. and all of it belonged to the king. While holding the title of the ruler of the wealthiest emperor in the western part of Africa, the main source of his kingdom's wealth was gold and salt. He had absolute power and control as every piece of gold and salt produced in the kingdom automatically became his. In the words of Rudolf Butch Ware, an associate professor of history at the University of California. Contemporary accounts of Musa's wealth are so breathtaking that it's almost impossible to get a sense of just how wealthy and powerful he truly was. That's right, family. They don't teach that in the so-called Mr. Charlie and Miss Becky's schools. 
And this was during the 13th century, 1300s. You know what the Europeans was doing in the 1300s? Suffering with the Black Plague. That's right. And this man was rich, had nothing but gold, silver, and then he wasn't he wasn't uh, selfish. All those countries in that area, Senegal, Mesopotamia, the Ivory Coast, Mali, all them people was doing good until these evil devils came in. But they don't teach our children that. And I'm going to be doing more videos on our great kings and queens. Because he definitely was a king. He was a real king. He made Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos and all the rest of them money look like chicken feed. That's how much money he had. That's how much gold he had. That's right. He even built the University of Timbuktu. That's right. He also was a Muslim that made his trip to Mecca. That's right, family. But family, we're going to cut this video short. Y'all make sure y'all share this video. And you can do your own research on Masa Musa, Musa Masa. I might be pronouncing his name wrong, but y'all know where I'm coming from. There's a lot of videos, a lot of white video, a lot of white uh, commentators making videos and blacks. So go check it out if you don't know nothing about this brother. The richest man that ever lived. And that's a documentary facts. It ain't no fact that I'm saying. Even the Europeans know that. Peace and love. Put up the likes and shares. And stay tuned for the next video or live stream. And I'm out.